playtesting easier. And to do this, we made an appliance which is called the voice logs um, as people playtest games. For our low quality prototype, we used a Wizard of Oz method to bring our idea to life. And for our high quality prototype, we made an appliance um, which, you know, which uses speed recognition to give feedback. Um, we wanted to pick one of the more unique and interesting interfaces so we were torn between the voice interface and the appliance interface. We ended up using both. Uh, in our group, both mega activities were working out, cooking, making board games, and making video games. Uh, we thought it would be fun to combine making board games and video games, so we tried to come up with design opportunities that work with both. The first design opportunity we came up with was finding some way to get, was finding a better way to get places and feedback. The second design opportunity we came up with was, some, was some, finding some way to make game ideation easier. And the last design opportunity we came up with was some way to make prototyping games easier. And I'll hand over to Kevin. Thanks, Annie. I'm Kevin. I'm going to talk about our ideation process. Uh, so the three best ideas uh, from our ideation session were like a tangible device with voice uh, interaction for recording feedback uh, from play testers. The second idea is that uh, an application designed to help guide designers uh, in the ideation phase of design. This will include uh, ideation guides and group activities. The third is that a software uh, for making rapid prototypes uh, of video games in a specific category, uh, for example, platformers and uh, first-person shooters. So the, after lots of consideration, uh, we decided to go with the play testing idea because we felt like this is the most novel and unique idea. And we also felt like a voice interface uh, would be a great way to collect feedback from users. As you guys could see here, this is our like low fidelity prototype uh, during our last presentation. All uh, here is a magic box like integrated with all the play testing idea. Uh, the main reasons we chose it is because we found this concept interesting and we wanted to explore it. Also, uh, the work to make the prototypes would be challenging and would be uh, like stretch us. Uh, by the way, our low fidelity prototype is using Wizard of Oz style. Uh, from, uh, from our last presentation, we also received some feedback from another group. Uh, so we did some improvements. So we put a button on it so it could show up in the, uh, when the device is recording. Next, Alex and Kai are going to properly introduce our high fidelity prototype. Uh, thank you. Thanks, Kevin. I'm Kai. Okay, everyone. So this is Replay. Uh, this is our high fidelity prototype, um, which is a device to help the process of game design. Uh, how this works is the game designer, uh, who's sort of in the process of creating a game, will program in different questions and conversations into Replay, and then give Replay to the people who are testing their game. You can imagine it being in a Cultural Pro style um, kit or something like that. Uh, so, and then uh, the, the device will ask questions of the, uh, of the game tester um, and get live feedback while they're playing the game. Um, but enough from me, I'll let Replay do the rest of the introductions. Replay, introduce yourself.
Okay, as you can see, um, we've got a button there to activate voice, and it changes color when replay is recording, so that the user knows exactly when their voice is being recorded and when they're off the record. Uh, now I'm gonna hand over to Alex to give us a little demo. Great. You guys go on here and hear this, right? Yeah, cool. All right. Hey, replay. I'm ready to start my super flight session. Great. I really like this environment. What specifically do you like about the environment? Um, some of these rock formations are really fun to fly around. I think the controls feel a bit clunky. The controls feel clunky. Tell me more about that. I think it was a bit too difficult to fly to that guy I've just done. Thanks. I loved your feedback on the controls. It's a nice relaxing game, but I wish I could control the character with my mouse. I think I'm ready to finish the session. Okay. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the session? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, that sounds good. What was your favorite moment or aspect of the session? I really like the transitions from one level to the next. It felt seamless. It's super cool. Um, it was as stressful and relaxing as you want it to be. And it's nice to just have a game like this that you can just have fun with. Great, thank you. Was there anything you would have liked to do that you couldn't? Yeah, it would have been nice to be able to go back to a previous level. Thank you. That's all the questions I have for today. Thank you for testing. Okay, so that was our demo of replay. Um, you might have noticed that um, it gave Alex the opportunity to bring up stuff during the playtesting session without taking him out of the immersion of the game. Uh, and also, it provided an opportunity at the end to ask specific questions that the designer had programmed in. Um, now, this is also can be used for board games uh, in a situation where there isn't a video game, but there are lots of people around the table um, who are playing a game at once. Okay, I think that's everything. Um, thanks so much for watching our presentation, and please let us know if you have any questions. Okay, um, I think the hypothetical prototype was really good and really convincing. Um, could you shed a bit more light about how you actually made the hypothetical prototype? Can you share it out? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can share it. So, um, the way we made it was, we just used the Android API, right? Um, it's got a speech recognizer built in. Uh, we use that to transcribe the speech. We pull out keywords, uh, or we check for keywords within the text that's been transcribed. And then we use the text to speech, which is also built into the, to the Android API, to output our response. That's cool. basically it. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? There's a lot of precedent for people playing games while talking. I'm um, just that you know, the popular genres of um, of like you know, uh, people playing games and talk and while being funny online is just so So we're thinking that um, a way to get popular feedback is by the voice because um, it's so that people can play and talk at the same time. So just it, it, it is it is a bit different than usual. So it is a bit it is a bit more stressful than uh, just playing, but it's uh, the le least intrusive way of getting feedback live that you can do with a couple like this. It's much, much less intuitive than having to stop and write stuff down or anything like that. Um, uh, also, for the consideration of um,
We're thinking of making options so you don't have to press the button every time so you can sort of just recording all the time. Like, it'll be, I think, depending on privacy issues, like, or maybe do that, but it'll be easier just like, not to press the button and just be able to just talk. It, you know, it depends on how we fall on the privacy versus ease, ease of use. And I also think there's an extent to which it's up to the, um, the player of the game how much they want to give feedback during the play session. And then after the play session, there's always the opportunity for the for replay to ask specific pre-programmed questions. Uh, on that, a uh, follow-up question would be that it's going to um, let the user decide how many information they want to get to replay. But at the same time, if they give really little information or not the uh, information given in the, the script, um, Currently, yes, but that's because we're not we're not the best at programming our voice interfaces. Um, in the actual thing, we imagine that there'll be a lot more redundancy for that kind of thing. Um, uh, the, Considering using a text interface as well on top of the voice interface as like as an option, um, but we wanted to just focus on the voice interface uh, for now. Uh, I could easily be added.